So welcome back to part two. We'll continue with the blocking and fixing some of my mistakes. From here, let's go right click shade, uh, shade auto smooth. I'm feeling that, yeah, we haven't added in enough geometry here and it looks a little bit too jagged. So maybe what we can do is alt left click all these edges like so. Maybe that one there, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And I'm missing one. There we go. Oh yeah, obviously at the back as well. Let's go something like that. Uh, I don't know about this. Let's just do control B to do a bevel. That ah, looks like crud. Hmm. Is there an easy way? Because I mean, technically we could put a subdivision surface modifier on it, but that's going to cause a few problems. So for instance, add modifier, generate uh, subdivision surface. Blah. However, I think if we select kind of like these loops here, we can change the crease value. Maybe something to like 0.5. Come in here, we can select a few of these edges, 0.5. And then that's gonna clean that kind of stuff up a little bit. Alt left click that edge, 0.5. Yeah, 0.5. Oops, 0.5, wrong one. Let's put that back to zero. And we'll pick these again. Change the bevel weight to zero, crease to 0.5. And what are we looking at? Blah. <laughs> that uh, does not work in the slightest. What if we did vertice? Let's not. I'm just going to delete that subdivision and we will live with this for now. Maybe we might be able to change it. We'll continue to have a bit of a play. Um, ultimately, I really like the base concept here. So let's go ahead and start thinking about um, what we can do in terms of greebling. So greebling, just adding in kind of like the smaller details. We do need to fill in this uh, middle section. We'll do that one a little bit of a different way, I reckon. So from this selection, let's go actually from here, Shift S cursor selected. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a cylinder, scale that, rotate Y 90. And what I want to do is I'm going to put it somewhere like this. So we've got that. Let's go scale on the Z axis, scale on the Y axis. Just trying to get something that semi matches what we already have. So just a little bit of fluffle. Okay, so that to me is looking great. Let's now go ahead and do some chopping. I'm gonna select both of these inside faces, delete face. Um, I'm gonna grab maybe the top here, V to rip, and then maybe this section here, V to rip. Now the reason why I did V to rip is because now I can select the back side, which I wanna delete, control L to select everything that's linked, and now I can go delete faces, perfect. This will now allow me to go E to extrude along the Y axis. There we go. So this is now almost a little bit of protective covering over this. I really like that idea. Two things, generate, solidify, modifier, generate, mirror modifier. And where do we put it? Off the windshield, but that's okay because um, we already put it along the middle in the X axis. So that's fine. I like that. One thing I wouldn't mind is maybe adding a little bit of extra details on this. So we might shift D to duplicate. And I'm gonna grab this edge, move it in, change the thickness, uh, the offset to zero. And so now we've got kind of a bit of a second layer on top of that. Um, we might even just move this over a little bit. Let's move the guns over a little bit. GX, just to give us a little bit more clearance to hide the crud in there, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I think that 
looks pretty good. If we look at it from afar. Yes. That is looking delish, I think. Perfect. That is great. Now, let's go on to the next steps of adding in some more greebling pipes and breaking up the... I wouldn't say breaking up the symmetry, but just adding more details over the top. So one thing we've got to think about is how does this cannon rotate? So obviously this main part here will rotate along the Z axis. However, this here needs to pivot somewhere in here because if I were to rotate this, you can see that it's pivoting off the origin point. Um, I mean, we could simply go empty and maybe add in a sphere. This here is our first sphere. Ah, I don't want a sphere. Let's go, let's go a circle, rotate Z. And so we've got a circle. I can select our gun turret and then select our empty last. Control P, parent object. So now when I start rotating this along the X axis, we can see that's where it's gonna be rotating. Now I don't want it to be rotating so far back. So we'll move it forward. Obviously everything moves forward because we've parented it like that. So let's go ahead and select all this. I can now just move this back along the Y axis. And now when we're going ahead and rotating. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> yeah, I think that's great. We need to hide the inside section. So let's go ahead and grab um, this plating here. Shift D to duplicate and we'll go G X. Oops, G X, okay. Make sure we turn on even thickness and also on the mirror axis um, clipping. So it joins up G X, something like that. Awesome. We do, however, yeah, need to cover up part of the section. So let's maybe just grab these two edges, E to extrude along the X axis to something like that. Perfect, I think that's great. We might even, oh, because this will now allow us to go to this angle. So obviously not fully effective. Um, you can't go directly up. which is stupid, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Let's go delete vertices. So we will keep that section there open, I guess. X axis, so that is directly up. It might even go a little bit past it. Uh, Poopy uh, cucker. I think maybe once we put in our pin, I guess, on what it's rotating, that will maybe hide a lot of the interior. So let's just go Alt R. Oops, rotate Z. So maybe we create the pin. So Shift S cursor to selected because that's the center of our rotation. And we will go into a cylinder, scale that down, rotate Y 90 degrees. And maybe that's where we have something that goes like so, hiding everything in there. Sweet. I think that's a good solution. Shift left click on our empty control P parent object. So now every, all this is being rotated, rotate X axis. There we go. We'll buy that for a dollar. Let's go ahead and maybe start cleaning up the cannons a little bit. One thing that I love doing will be control, uh, control R to add in an edge loop, control B to do a bevel. Okay. Then I'm going to select these two edges do a control B to do another bevel. And then I'm gonna select both of these edges here, GZ. So now we've kind of added in a little bit of a cut panel in there, which is great. I love that stuff. We could even, if I were to go shift D to duplicate, change the offset to zero. This is where we can start adding in more cuts. So if I do a cut here and a cut here, I can select these two edges and you and you. Did I grab the right one? Nope. Delete vertices. So now we have this secondary cut on top, GY. 
And then we can do something very similar. Control B, oops, Control B, GG. No, actually, can we do it both? I don't think we will be able to. GG, yeah, it's having a heart attack. GG, and let's go 0.2. GG, 0.2, 0 0.8. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. 0.2 minus. What are you doing to me, mate? GG, 0.2. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So you can see how it is just having an absolute heart attack. That is because of the normals. And so on the normals, for instance, here, I'm just going to use this as an example. The writing is the like front facing where the back is obviously the back. What we're going to have is when I turn on, um, face orientation. So that's where the two circles are. We come in and we've got face orientation. I'm expecting to see some red here. Maybe face orientation. Cool. It's not red. However, if I disable the solidify modifier, I hate you so much. I know that's the problem. <laughs> I'm going to press a to select all shift N to flip the normals. You suck. Why? I think I've got an extra edge in here. I do have an extra edge. Do I? Wait a minute. What's this? This wasn't meant to happen. Oh, I've added in an extra edge. I shouldn't have. If I go GG, move that off to the side and GG, move that off to the side. I cleaned it up, but it's not right here. GG here. GG. There we go. Select all M to merge by distance. So I had vertices that were sitting on top of each other. I lied. It wasn't the normals. I'm sure that problem will come up again a little bit later and we'll deal with it then. Um, from here, I can come in and then we can do small little cuts as well. So just some like panel lines. So if I select these two, I can go control B to do a small bevel, delete faces. And now we're just adding in kind of like small little details. So this is how I've done the paneling on, you know, the rest of the ship is kind of like this idea as well. So if you've gotten this far, can you just hit the subscribe button, trying to get that 100,000 mark and it would help tremendously. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I reckon we put an edge loop through here. Control B, we might even make that a little bit bigger. Nice. I like that. That's great. Um, if we come back onto our pure ref form, what do we see? We see some panels sitting on top. Um, what have we got over here? I like this piece here. I mean, we haven't even worked on the inside part, so that's fine. But yeah, you can kind of see, yeah, pieces like that is just kind of adding to it. Got a border piece. Mm, I'm not going to worry about that one. What are we doing up here? More panel pieces. Great. Perfect example. Good. Let's see if we can take those ideas and maybe here I want to make a cut in this section. I'm going to press I to do an inset and we'll go scale along the X delete face. There we go. So now we can kind of see the inside of the turret there a little bit. Um, if we want, maybe we can strengthen the end here. Let's maybe alt left click on the faces here. Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to press P separate by selection. I just want this section here. Let's go G Y scale Y. Put that back in its place. Um, and then we can go zero to make that bit thicker. And then that's given us kind of like a bit of a boundary there. Yeah, I like that idea. We could even just pull this down a smidgen. Nice. That's looking tough. Very simple. Very quickly, we've added in some nice details there. So I really like that. Um, in here, let's maybe go ahead and select this. Um, e to extrude, we'll bring that in. No, nah, let's not. I don't like, I didn't add in enough geometry here. So technically, we could probably come in and remake it. I think we're going to have to, aren't we? Oh, which is fine. Not a big drama. It doesn't match the rest, so that's fine. I can go delete, and we can just get to work on doing it again. 
However, if I do want to keep it, one thing I like to do is create a junk collection. And so if I open up my junk collection, you can see all the pieces on the ship, which are rubbish. And so if I were to just kind of quickly hide it, you can see I've got backup files in here and like previous pieces, which I don't think are working. So we kind of just a very quick way to get rid of that, but delete. Let's go from here. Um, I might just duplicate this cylinder scale and see if we can kind of like match what we had. So I think we might just need to bring that in scale, scale Y, G Y, G Z, just kind of like re put that into place. Nice. And then from here, we could just delete these faces. Um, maybe what we'll do is let's just chop this off, delete faces, and we'll come back to it. Add modifier, generate mirror modifier. What I want to do is we'll grab the bottom section, the top section. I'm going to press V to rip like we've done previously. Let's select this edge, control L, G, Y move it back. Now what I can do is I can select these two edges, press F to create a face, select these two edges, F to create a face. Select the insert inside, F to create a face, select all that with alt left click, F to create a face, and then we've got that. Awesome. Now, like we did previously, shift the D to duplicate, push it out, I to do an inset, delete the outside edge. Now it's all even Steven, E to extrude, Control B to do a bevel. There we go. And now um, pressing Control L, I select everything that's linked to that. We can scale it like so, G, X. Yeah, look at that. That's much better. That's smooth. What we can do as well is um, create some paneling maybe in here. So now I will do I to do an inset, E to extrude. Do we like that? Oh yeah, that is looking tough now. Yep, much better.